Hey, I'll see you on tour in Las Vegas, Chicago, and Grand Rapids in Chicago. It's stand-up and a live panel show. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets, and make sure you go to JimmyDoor.com. So watch this. There's something glorious about watching CNN read this Trump quote live on air. CNN viewers just got a truth bomb, and it's hilarious. So watch this. Watch Anderson Cooper. This, this is hilarious. Watch. What happens if Kamala Harris is at the top of the ticket? I want to read to you exactly what he said because he just said it moments ago, so we haven't been able to cut that sound yet. But he says, whatever else can be said about crooked Joe Biden, you have to give him credit for one brilliant decision. Picking Kamala Harris as his vice president was the greatest insurance policy of all time. If Joe had picked someone even halfway competent, they would have bounced him from his office years ago. (laughs) (laughs) That's the truth. She's not as good... If she was on Scarborough doing the interview, she would have been worse. So look at Anderson Cooper like, how does he know Anderson that? Cooper's like, oh shit, I just have to take it now. We're this is what we're doing. So they got so so op, this so this is so obvious that the the word came down from the donor class, the people who run uh, who own the stock in CNN, the people who are the advertisers, the people that all the word came down from the donor class, the fifty or a hundred billionaires who run this country and the Western world, and said, get rid of them. And that's what this is. So now they're reading insults from Trump. They're literally literally reading insults from Trump. And Anderson Cooper just has to sit there and take it. What What happens if Kamala Harris is at the top of the ticket? I want to read to you exactly what he said because he just said it moments ago, so we haven't been able to cut that sound yet. But he says, whatever else can be said about crooked Joe Biden, you have to give him credit for one brilliant decision. Picking Kamala Harris as his vice president was the greatest insurance policy of all time. If Joe had picked someone even halfway competent, they would have bounced him from his office years ago. (laughs) <laughs> well, I, I wish I could zoom in on Anderson because he's blinking up a storm. Yeah, and this this reminds me. He, he's, but, he's 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 blinking yeah. like every two seconds. Normally, I think he blink one every eight seconds or something. He's blinking like every two seconds. Why? Because he's registering he's every, like, uh, every blessed word of that insult. Yeah, yes. <laughs> and he knows it's true deep in his ice blue heart. Yes. Um, her reading that it, it's not as great, but it's it's in the realm of when Dan Quayle read the lyrics to Cop Killer because he was so upset. Do you remember that? <laughs> I don't remember that. Dan, you know, he's, he's a speed metal band, Cop Killer. Yeah. After the, and he goes, I'm going to get my rocks off. <laughs> I'm going to dust some cops off. He was like, <laughs> Uh, I want to hear this again. What happens if Kamala Harris is at the top of the ticket? I want to read to you exactly what he said because he just said it moments ago, so we haven't been able to cut that sound yet. But he says, whatever else can be said about crooked Joe Biden, you have to give him credit for one brilliant decision. Picking Kamala Harris as his vice president was the greatest insurance policy of all time. If Joe had picked someone even halfway competent, they would have bounced him from his office years ago. Okay, okay, so this is all to humiliate Biden. Because, this is it. This is that. That's a good line. And why would they read his good? Why line? Why would they read yeah, it? They make up things he didn't say, that's or they cut all him the apart. Time, that's right. right. They quoted that in its entirety. Like so, that's like uh, maybe Biden will get the message. I think that Obama. This is just my wild speculation. Is going to uh, you know of mice and men. He's going to tell him about the rabbits, and then oh, he passed away. That he's such a great president, <laughs> and now we owe it to him to bring Kamala Harris in. You know, like the fervor of like, now he's, now There's, we love him, now he's gone. The establishment are so arrogant and stupid, they really are, that I bet they think they can win with Kamala Harris. I'll be- bet you they, they will. Try, yeah. try. What, what else could they do? There's no way Biden can hang on. I, Biden, hang on. The do- it's all it takes is for Obama to come out and say something. Yeah, well, that's the big if, word. If Where's o- Obama? If Obama, so Obama, after the debate, he was on his side, Biden. I've, I've had a bad, I've had bad nights. We all know what bad nights are. So, but as soon as the donor class tells Obama, go get him, it's over. So we have to wait to see if there's white or black smoke from the chimney of Big so, Mike's house. Yes. <laughs> so they're trying to get him, so they're trying to get Biden to just step down without doing that. Because if Obama comes out and and says he's not, camping, and Biden still doesn't drop out, mm-hmm. that's bad. Oh, I, the, so, so, but that is their ace in the hole. Hey, I'll see you on tour in Las Vegas, Chicago, and Grand Rapids. In Chicago, it's stand-up and a live panel show. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets, and make sure you go to JimmyDoor.com.